What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Judio and I'm back again with a new video. Today we're going to be reacting to a video titled, Why is Norway so rich? This is my first time watching this video. So recently, Norway has been coming up in a lot of conversations about how good the economy and how good the way of life is out there. And I basically don't know a lot about Norway. So this is my first step to learn about the nation. So I hope you enjoy this journey with me. Without wasting your time, let's get to the video. Considered as one of the safest and happiest countries in the world, Norway also has a booming economy. This small country, which is home to just over 5 million people, has one of the highest GDPs per capita in the world. But how did Norway... Just 5 million people in Norway. <laughs> Nigeria has 200 million in context. <laughs> Norway becomes so rich. In the early... Just Lagos state in Nigeria has 20 million. In the 1950s, Norway's economy was mainly based on agriculture, timber and fishing. All Norway really was in the first half of the 1900s was a smallly populated working class country. But in the 1960s, this seemed to have all changed. Norway knew that if they managed to get rights to their own portion of the North Sea, they'd be able to find something big. So in 1963, they managed to get these rights and they began to explore. Mm. And in 1969, they found a lot of oil. Norway's economy jumped from being worth next to nothing in 1970 to being worth over half a trillion US dollars just 40 years later. At their peak, Norway was exporting a billion barrels a year in 1997 and still to this day they export around 650 million barrels of oil per year. Wow. Norway exports its oil to countries all across the world. The majority, around a quarter of it, goes to the UK but a lot of it also goes to countries such as China, the Netherlands and the USA. And of course, all of these exports mean Norway was bringing in a lot of money. So the Norwegian GDP is about half a trillion dollars and they are just 500 million, pardon me, they are just 5 million people in the country. Nigeria's GDP is about the same, but they are 200 million, <laughs> 200 million people yeah i see why the economy is so good like this is just the first the first step into explaining why the economy is so good and there's a lot more the agricultural parts and other things just last year norway still managed to bring in 424 billion norwegian kroners which is 50 billion us dollars mm. but what did norway actually do with all of this extra money unlike these other oil rich countries they didn't spend their money building the tallest buildings in the world, building brand new hotels and extravagant airports. That's a shot at Instead, Dubai. they decided to invest it. In 1990, Norway founded the Government Pension Fund Global, or more simply known as the Oil Fund. Norway knew that relying on their oil exports for their economy was very unsustainable, and so this fund set out that all of the revenue that Norway gained from exporting its oil was to be reinvested into a fund that would benefit the current and future generations of Norway. Mm. Norway's sovereign wealth fund currently holds 1.1 trillion US dollars in assets, making wow. it the biggest in the world. This fund is even higher than the likes of China and the United Arab Emirates, who have much higher populations than Norway's 5 million, which shows just how rich Norway has become. Hmm. Because this government fund from Norway is worth about 1.1 trillion dollars, that means every single Norwegian citizen is worth about 200,000 US dollars on paper. But this money isn't actually directly accessible by the citizens or even the government. The government's only allowed to take out up to 3% per year in order to make sure that enough money is kept in that can be left for future generations. Mm -hmm. The fund itself is invested into three different assets, stocks, bonds and real estate. And the fund overall achieves a respectable 5.8% annual return. This fund helps to power the Norwegian economy and make sure that no Norwegian citizen ever goes homeless or ever get sick and can't get treatment or ever needs to pay for education overall Norway's discovery so you don't pay for hospital bills you don't pay for education and you take care of the real estate as well okay I'm coming to Norway <laughs> through oil in the 1960s helped boost them to become one of the richest countries in the world but it's the management of this oil money which makes Norway different with some people even claiming that Norway have the perfect economy that other countries should try to follow. 
Hmm. Wow, that's everything. So that was a very, very good video. Short, but the content was, was good. It was an eye opener. Yeah, I liked what I saw there. Usually when people try to emulate um, an economy of a country, they like to choose Canada, US or UK. But I think Norway has a a good economy or a good system that people should follow too. Yeah, I didn't even know they had, like that was a surprising part to me. I didn't know there were only 5 million people in Norway. Nigeria, there's a city in Nigeria that has 20 million people. Just one city. I don't know if it's good leadership, but they've been able to build something very, very good for themselves, man. Yeah, I'm coming to Norway. I need a green card. <laughs> that was a good video. Let me know what you guys think of that one. And also please share more videos that can help me learn more about Norway. Cause from my perspective, it feels like Norway is a country that if you don't look for it, you don't find it. It's not like America that is in your face or it's not like Canada or Britain that there's always news or information about these countries. Norway, they're just doing their own thing and they're doing very well for themselves. I'm going to dig into that hole to find the diamond, you know, I have to find everything relevant I need to know about Norway in case I'm going to have to move there. <laughs> okay, let me know what you guys think of that one. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a very wonderful day. Peace.